I added the logo and a tagline to the first row of the template. Next, I'll show you how I created the menu. The menu uses the default styling, which is very minimal. You'll probably want to create styles to match the project you're working on. It's a bit tedious to look up all the styles and modify them manually. An easier way would be to use the UI Kit customizer. On getuikit.com, just click the customizer option. Select one of the themes as a starting point. All you'll see at first are the basic components. Click this checkbox for advanced mode. This reveals more options, which are arranged alphabetically. You'll want to work on the nav, navbar, and off canvas items. For example, I'll click on this off canvas button to reveal the off canvas sidebar. Scroll to the off canvas section in the settings. For example, I'll click this color square beside bar background. Now I can select a different color and click the choose button and you should immediately see the result displayed in the preview. If you don't like that result, click the box again and click the reset link. If you can't find the setting you're looking for, click the more link beside the section title. That will reveal even more options. When you've completed all the changes, if you'd like to minify the CSS, go ahead and click that checkbox there, and then click the Get CSS button, and you'll have the option of saving that CSS file. And then you'll need to link to that CSS file in your HTML code in place of any previous theme file that you may have used. My goal is to create this horizontal navbar menu. That type of a menu builds on some of the other UI kit nav elements. So I'll begin with the basics. In its simplest form, UI kit navigation consists of an unordered list containing links in each list item. This list gets a class of UK nav the UK nav side class adds some very basic styles. I've enclosed the list in a UI kit panel. You don't have to do that. This is a very basic navigational list. The item with the blue background contains the UK active class. To add a submenu, you insert a list inside one of the list items. So this item has a list nested inside it. The item that has a submenu gets a class of UK parent. The submenu list gets a class of UK nav sub. On the top level unordered list, you need to add an attribute data UK nav. That creates the accordion effect where the submenus open and close, revealing the submenu options. If you don't use that attribute, all the submenu items will always be visible. To add an icon that indicates that the menu item has a submenu, you add the class UK nav parent icon to the top level UL element. Here we have the indicator that this item has a submenu. Click with the accordion effect to open. Click again to close. In this last example, I've added more submenu items. You can also add non-clickable headings in the menu using the class UK nav header. If you want to space items apart, add an empty list item with the class UK nav divider. Now we have two submenus. There's an example of the heading and there is the divider. 
providing some spacing to space out the menu options. This is the second submenu, and notice that when I open the second one, the first one will close. 